In this video, we are going to see how to select multiple pictures like this and convert them instantly to a smart art like this. This is very useful for arranging multiple pictures like product photos or logos of customers and so on. So let's get started. The first step is to download the macro. You can download it from my blog article. The link is given in the description. Along with the macro file, you can also download the sample file which contains pictures which you can test and learn from. Now you need to install the add-in in PowerPoint. To do that, go to File Options, Add-ins. At the bottom, you will see a drop-down. Choose PowerPoint add-in and click the Go button. Click the Add New button and choose the Arrange Picks PPM file. You will receive this message. Choose Enable Macros. Sometimes you may even need to unblock the file by going to File Explorer, Properties and enable the unblock checkbox. Now you'll see add-ins tab with the arrange pictures button available there. You can test and learn the macro using the sample file. Go to any slide, select multiple pictures, then from the add-in tab, click on the arrange pictures button. It'll show your progress bar and convert each picture nicely into a smart art. The size of the smart art is default, but you can always adjust it to exactly the way you want and avoid any overlaps. In order to understand what happened just now, it's good to go to the Home tab, select and enable the selection pane. This shows you all the objects. In this case, what happened? We had selected all the things, including the title. The title did not have a picture, so that was left alone. All the objects which were pictures or graphics, they are still there, but they are hidden and all of them were combined into a diagram. The name is Auto Diagram, and that is what we are seeing now. So all the older pictures are still there. These are not deleted. What does that mean? These are still occupying space. So if you want to reduce space, you can always go and delete those pictures or copy them somewhere else. Now, in case you don't like it, how do you revert? Undo is not going to work here. So what you do is enable selection pane, click on the Auto Diagram, delete it. And now you can say show all to bring all the pictures back exactly the way they earlier were. If you want to reorder pictures, you can click on a picture and use a very powerful and useful shortcut called shift alt up arrow or down arrow to arrange them. You can select pictures in the order you want. First picture, just click. Second picture onwards, use shift click. Right now I'm just taking five pictures in that order and then say arrange pictures, in which case it will arrange it exactly the way in which you selected them originally. Okay, so you got the smart art, you arrange the pictures the way you want, it is resized it, but now you want to change the size of an individual picture. You will notice that along with the picture there is also a text box, which is currently made transparent, so it doesn't interfere visually, but it's there. The problem is, this is smart art. So if you try to increase or decrease the size of a picture, it will affect other pictures as well. If you don't want that, you want the smart art to be converted to individual shapes. In order to do that, make sure the smart art is selected. Click on smart art design and choose convert to shapes. Now it's no longer smart art. It is just a collection of shapes with individual shapes grouped together. So select the outer grouped one and choose ungroup, group, ungroup. Now you'll get lots of shapes because each picture was actually a shape and along with that a text box. So you will have to get rid of these text boxes manually and now you get individual pictures and you can adjust them the way you want. One word of caution, this is not just a picture, standalone picture any longer. It's a picture inside a shape. There is no technical limit to the number of images we can handle. We have tested it up to 300 images. Of course, more pictures means more time. And it's very important that you do not do anything else with PowerPoint. Otherwise, the macro may misbehave and you may get an error. In case macro encounters an error, you will see a message which says there is an error and we will try to revert it back to the previous state. By the way, if you like this macro, 
you have a macro collection you can download a combined version of all macros as a single add-in using the link given in the description and if you like it do share it with people and of course subscribe to my channel thank you